most of the time But I got the rhythm and he's got the rhyme I got the windy city howling on Got a clock in for the break of dawn When the day is over and the work is done We're gonna go out and have some fun Over yet? Quiet! Jim, don't shoot old Yeller. He has to. Yeller's got rabies. He's not our old Yeller anymore. The disease has affected his mind. This is for the best. Oh. Come for me, Big Daddy! Mona, get a hold of yourself. I'd rather get a hold of you. I can't believe we missed Jake and a fat man for this. Bobby anymore. Shoot him, baby. Bobby, honey, don't you have any emotions? Oh, he's got emotions. <laughs> you should see him sob when he gets a bad haircut. <laughs> You're comparing the horror of a bad haircut to old Jello? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. It's a dog. The guy's mutt goes wacko, so he grabs a piece, blasts him to kingdom come, drinks a brew, runs down to the pound, bing, bang, boom, he's got another dog. <laughs> I mean, it's not like people can get rabies. Sure they can. Really? Do, do people start foaming like that? Don't worry about it, Bob. Hey, you got a little shaving cream or spittle on the corner of your mouth there. Honey, he's only teasing. Oh, I knew that. I'll see you later. <laughs> now about, uh, about this barn thing. They, they, they take you behind a barn and shoot you, right? Okay, what if you don't have a barn? Where, where are they gonna take me? He just has an overactive imagination. I think it's adorable. After he saw a Valerie Bertinelli TV movie, he went out and got a pap smear. <laughs> well, I'm beat. Good night. Good night, gorgeous. Mm. Oh, what a face on that van. Hey, don't forget, this is the face that's been keeping you in McNuggets. <laughs> Bobby, who let that big dog in here? Where? <laughs> How can you not love Vinny? Lord knows I've been trying. <laughs> and I'm gonna keep trying. <laughs> well, Bobby, it looks like it's just the two of us. Now, about this rabies thing, does a dog actually have to bite you? What if he just licks you or you drink out of his bowl? Dogs are strange. Some drink right out of the toilet. So you want to make out? I'm telling you guys, the people from the diet center are following me. They could be anywhere. They caught me at Martoni's Pizza last night. I was wearing sunglasses. I don't know how they knew it was me. Hey, Winnie. Can I ask you guys a question? If you never actually do anything, how do you manage to work up that incredible odor the flies seem to love so much? Perhaps it's our maleness aroused by your canvas sack that reminds one of a mighty feed bag. That's Shakespeare. Your feet are down there, Bill. I know you've been looking for them. <laughs> Got a special delivery for you, Grazo. Hi, Bobby. Hi, babe. And one for you any time you want to pick it up. Oh my god, food with a girl attached. <laughs> Guys, I would like you to meet the girl that I can't stop talking about. Phyllis? Judy. Catwoman. <laughs> Guys, meet Kendall. Or as I like to refer to her as Miss Wright. Now. <laughs> uh, Bobby asked me to bring lunch for you guys. Oh, great. 
Guys, you know the real reason why I asked Kendall to come by here? So that after she left, I could spend the rest of the day bragging about her. Ooh, I can't wait. You ever seen a woman more deserving of a full Bobby experience? <laughs> I know this is turning you on. <laughs> it's turning me on. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'll see you tonight. Bye, Vinny. Except for her bad taste in men, she's great. Does that girl Kendall remind you of someone? I know I've seen her somewhere before. As you know, I'm considered something of a renowned amateur detective. There was a big article in my new Shameless Shameless Real Detective magazine about the serial killer the cops can't catch. They call her Killer Schiller. And she looks a little bit like your Kendall. Killer Schiller. Yeah, right. Her last name is Borden. Yeah, that really sounds like a killer's name. Look, Nozzlehead, criminals often use an alias so they don't get caught. An alias? First she's a killer, now you got her coming from another planet? Bobby, sometimes I think you're from another planet. Bill, sometimes I think you are another planet. It's mean the way Bill always picks on the dumb guy. Now about this killer Schiller, babe. Why does she kill all these people? How do I know? Everyone she's killed is dead. They don't call her a serial wounder. Bobby, listen to me. He's just messing with your head. Don't believe a word he says. Come on, Vinny. Bill Belly knows killers. The only killer Bill Belly knows is cholesterol. <laughs> Kendall is the most terrific girl you've ever met. You're right. Too bad I got a dumper. No, Bobby, whatever you do, don't dump her. That's probably what sets her off. <laughs> Please, don't do that. The way I'm figuring is, some guy hurt her. Hurt her bad. I'm thinking a construction worker. Because that's who every guy she killed was. But, Detective Belly, aren't I a construction worker? Bingo. I, Robert Grazzo, being of sound mind and perfect body. <laughs> Leave my... Uh, what am I doing? I can't let all this end. I'll leave town. Yeah, that's it. I'll go to Kansas City. Kansas City, here I come. Yeah, they got some crazy little women there. No, I already got me one. I'll go to Cleveland. <laughs> what did I just do? Big mistake. Killers hate it when you do that. Okay. Okay, be cool. Just be cool. Hello? What's shaking? <laughs> Your knees. I hope I didn't scare you. Me? No. What, are you crazy? Now, I didn't mean crazy in a bad way, okay? I meant crazy in kind of a wicky, wacky, kooky kind of way. Uh, Kendall, we gotta talk. Uh-oh. I think I know what that means. You're gonna break up with me, aren't you? No, no, never no, no. Listen, I would rather die than break up with you. Scratch that. Um, Kendall, the, the only way we're gonna break up is as if you break up with me. I didn't think it was that obvious. Well, it was. What was? Well, that I have feelings for someone other than you and I think I should be with him. Oh, well, you know, uh, good luck. I'm, I'm sure you know what's best. Um, let's stay friends, and don't you be a stranger, okay? Maybe I am being a little hasty. Let's give us another try. No, uh, no. Us, no good. Us, no work. Why am I talking like Tarzan? Oh, Bobby, I can see that I've hurt you. Oh, no, no. Not as much as you could have if we'd, uh, gone out longer. Um, who's the lucky fella? Vinny. Vinny? Vinny and I have so much more in common. He's sweet and insensitive and bright and caring. And... Uh, that's just a front, okay? He's, he's mean and he's dirty, you know? I have seen him brush his teeth with his finger. <laughs> 
My shirts aren't even tapered. But I want Vinny. You do? Yes, I do. Very, very much. Kendall, I think you're great, but Bobby and I are best friends, and friends don't do that to each other. Bobby, it's your decision. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want any part of this. I'm going to Cleveland, and I'm taking Vinny with me. <laughs> Kendall, would you excuse us? Bobby, come here. Bobby, you're letting Bill Belly's detective garbage poison your mind. Are you sure you don't want her? Hey, believe me, I don't want any part of her, and neither do you. Listen to me, as your best friend, okay? She's a killer. She kills construction workers. She'll kill you. Run, run, run. I have a different plan. Because you're a huge chicken, you lose a great girl who I end up happily married to, while you end up an old, broken-down man hiding for no reason in Cleveland. <laughs> but listen, after you're dead, don't come running to me, okay? Bob, uh, after I'm dead, if you see me running anywhere, it means she got you, too. Well, Bobby, you do want me to be happy now, don't you? Well, if it's what Vinny wants. Is it? This is one moment I'll remember till the day I die. <laughs> I'll see to that. <laughs> Yours. Yours. Oh. Mm. Madam. So Vinny's out with Kendall right now? Uh-huh. And after seeing the picture, you still think Kendall is Killer Schiller? Yeah. Then I think it's safe to say you killed Vinny. Well, come on. Don't say that. He's not dead yet, okay? Tell me he's not dead yet. You're pulling my chest hairs. <laughs> Sorry, Stanley. Tell me he's not dead yet. Now you're pulling my chest tears. You don't have a chest. Let me see that picture again. Oh, yeah, that's her. Uh-huh. The pigtails, the bandana, the beard. That's Kendall, all right. Let me see that. This is Willie Nelson's firing the caboose chili recipe. I told me you lost that. Here's Killer Chiller. Oh, it's definitely her. Not her. It could be her. Sorry. <laughs> Let's review the evidence. One, Killer Schiller likes construction workers. That's because we're two-fisted macho dudes. <laughs> yeah, we're irresistible to women. Uh-huh, sure we are. That's why we're all here on Saturday night. Come on, guys, you're supposed to be helping me figure out a way to rescue Vinny from the cold embrace of Satan's sinister sister. <laughs> If death is the only way to have her, then paint a bullseye on this big old love machine. <laughs> eh, chicks like her a dime a dozen. But here's a quarter. Hi, guys. It's great to see you. I want to get rid of them. Everybody say goodbye to Kendall, because you won't be here when she comes back. <laughs> Vinny? If I never see you again, I'm the one that's been taking the sandwiches from your lunchbox. If you guys don't get out of here, I'm gonna sick her on you. Come on, Vinny. We got new evidence. Tell him, Detective Belly. He is not a detective. Details are sketchy, but here's what I've pieced together. Her favorite color is green. They think her father worked in a hardware store or a pet shop. And she's allergic to cheap cologne. Ooh, the plot. Thins. Is anybody out here wearing high karate? Oh. <laughs> the chocolates! Oh. Come on, Vinny, run for your life. Did you hear what he said? She's allergic to cheap cologne. High karate's not cheap cologne. It's $3 a gallon. <laughs> so why do you want to risk it? Detective Belly told me... He is me... not a detective. Bobby's a construction worker. He told me that this killer Sheila babe uses a knife to cut up her men like stew vegetables. This is why your relationships never last. You take any little thing and turn it into a fatal flaw. Either she's too short, her ears are too big, she's a serial killer. It's always something. <laughs> well, I'm not like you, Bob. I'm not looking for an out. 
I can't wait to tell Kendall this. What a laugh we're gonna have. <laughs> Cuts up men like stew vegetables. <laughs> Are those stew vegetables? No, I'm just dicing them for the dip. Boy, Kendall, you sure know how to handle a knife. Who's your dad, Benny Hanna? <laughs> no, silly. My father worked in a hardware store. Lots of people work in hardware stores. Could be a simple coincidence. Or was it a pet shop? <laughs> You're so sweet. Mm. Now go sit down on the couch. I want to serve you. Oh, that's a beautiful green. Green! <gasps> okay, pencil's nice. All sharp objects gotta go. <laughs> Stop it. Mental note, you have knives in your shirt. <laughs> Look at her. She's the sexiest woman alive. A lot of people wear green. Mmm, you want to taste? Oh, boy, do I. She's not Killer Schiller. <laughs> I don't care if she is Killer Schiller. There's too much onion in this dip. Too so much onion in this dip. Uh, no, no, it's perfect. <laughs> Scissors? Yikes. Vinny, what are you doing? Vinny, why do you have the scissors? Uh, uh, I'm Vinny Scissorhands, get it? <laughs> <laughs> Vinny, you're scaring me. I'd hate to find out you were some kind of a... Psycho killer. <laughs> Wouldn't that be awful? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be awful. <laughs> yeah. Vinny, you've been acting very, very weird since we got home tonight. What's wrong? I don't know. Between you and the dip, I'm losing it. Now, uh, where were we? <laughs> Good thing we're not going to the airport, huh? <laughs> Vinny, what is going on? I feel stupid even bringing this up because I know it's not true, but a couple of guys from work said they thought you looked a lot like... Get ready to laugh. Killer Schiller. <laughs> Honey, you're not laughing. Oh, the guy I'm dating thinks I look like a homicidal maniac and I forget to laugh. <laughs> okay, that could be a normal person's laugh. <laughs> Come here, sit down. Vinny, I thought we shared something special. How could you believe a silly story like that? I didn't. You did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Oh, no, I didn't. Who are you talking to? Uh, no one. I'm stupid. He's stupid. Who's stupid? I am. You're gorgeous. Can I suck your fingers again? Uh, I think I'm gonna go now because I'm scared of you. Oh, no, no. Kendall. <laughs> Don't go. Do you want to know how much I believe you're not Killer Schiller? Here. Well, I just gave a possible mass murderer a two-foot knife. <laughs> Mental note. Stay at least two feet away from her. Are you sure you want me to have this knife? Yeah, I'm sure. I know you're not a killer. You're too beautiful to kill anyone. It's true. Guys will say anything. <laughs> Here's your chance, but... Nothing's gonna happen, because as I mentioned earlier, you're not a killer. <laughs> <laughs> Vinny, let me show you what I want to do with this. Ooh. Vinny! Okay, Killer Schiller, you don't want to mess with Bobby Grazzo, the toughest alley fighter in the state of Chicago. <laughs> Bob, what are you doing? I'm taking down Killer Schiller for the murder of Vinnie Viducci. What are you saying? Sure thing! <laughs> you know, Bob, for a minute there, I thought you weren't gonna bust in here and screw everything up. Vinny, you're not dead. So then what is Killer Schiller doing with that knife? The sexiest thing I've ever seen. Vinny, this is no way to have a relationship. You're very, very foolish. You are just pathetic. 
Someday you will realize just what could have happened here tonight, Vinny. <laughs> about the dip again. Was it really too much onion? You can never have too much onion. You obviously never sat next to yourself. <laughs> I'm a loser. I chased a great girl away. Nah, I'm the loser. I gave a great girl away. You're both losers. And here comes why. Hi, guys. Kendall, you came back. Glad to see you. Hey, baby doll. Hi, honey. Ready for lunch? The question is, is lunch ready for me? <laughs> so long, suckers. <laughs> Hold on a minute, sweet cakes. You're awestruck, aren't you? <laughs> Let me make this quick. From the moment she walked into your lives, I knew she had to be mine. So I set you up. And you know what the easy part was? Setting you up. <laughs> <laughs> The, the green shirt, the cheap cologne. You know where her father worked, how? Huh? Elementary when you're a trained dick like me. <laughs> a little psychology, some prank phone calls, and it all fell easily into place. By the way, everybody's allergic to high karate. <laughs> <laughs> So Kendall's dumped Bill, huh? Yeah. Would you go out with her again? Uh-uh. Hey, life is too short. <laughs> you? No. I think I'll just let it go. Uh, yeah, she stuck that knife in the back of the couch like she knew what she was doing. <laughs> you ain't lying. I don't care how beautiful she is. No woman is worth risking your life for. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to bed. Yeah, me too. There's plenty of gorgeous women in the world. You won't see Vinnie Viducci rushing to call her. <laughs> or Bobby Grazzo. Good night. Good night.